local man theme. Let's see if he employs any of his wrestling here. I tried on the 3XL gloves he's got on, and it looked like I was wearing super serious gloves, Michael. Zakina in the red, Machado in the camouflage gray, black and white. Zakina on the outside here. We look to shoot in and try and put the BJJ black belt on his back. Zakina's chin wide open though here. Fires out a punt kick there for the Japanese warrior. What a personality. Fan favorite is Sakine. Not always the prettiest of technique to watch, but thoroughly entertaining. Machado clubs up high. He knows the power that Shrek packs in those hands. Probing with the lead hand here. Machado goes up to the head. Machado might want to start going to the body with those kicks. He's wide open for a nice, beautiful takedown from Sakine. Indeed, does put the BJJ black belt on his back. Goes to side control, lands a knee. And he'll have this big fella on top of him. Oh, this is Sakine's world, the seven-time Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu champion. He's got him on top, who floats over the back, secures, but look at him, his own just standing right back up. But Sakine drags him back down to the ground. Sakine moves very well on the ground. Strength of the jersey from the 117 kilo Hiteka Sakine. Here in the first round, having the back of Machado. Machado crawls towards the cage. Impressive start here from Sakina. Sakina's got to make Machado carry his weight a little bit more. He's got to get a little bit higher under the back. Because that's the way, with that body lock, Sakina is able to drag Machado wherever he wants. Just ragdolling Machado early on here, Sakina, who began training in judo as a six-year-old after being the victim of bullying at school. Fell in love with VR, continued his training all the way through college at Yamanashi Gakuin University. And still ranked on in the shadow here, Mitch. You can see the frustration starting to build on Alessandro Machado. He's got to break that grip. When he stands back up, he immediately has to put both hands on one of Sakine's hands and start to push away because Sakina has that grip, he's able to just toss him around. Top position now for Hideki Kasinga. Can he get inside? He is inside the half guard. Can he posture up and work those massive meat hooks? Machado trying to work his way out of this predicament. Sakina has been a dominant force, takes the back standing again, does the Japanese warrior. He's got to put his back up against the cage and he's got to start getting right in that grip. He's got to put both hands on one of Sakina's arms and start to separate the body lock. The Sakini might just take his right leg behind and trip him back down to the ground, just like that. BJJ black belt under Marcos and Roberto Satoshi Souza is Sakini. Looks for another wrenching takedown on Machado. Well, Machado was able to transition to a single leg, can't hold over the ring like that, the cage. Sakini is home. Actually looking for his first win in one championship. He is 0-2 here so far. Impressive in the opening round, the big fella from Japan. Overhand left there, misses the target from Machado. Double leg to a single leg now from Sakina. Gives up on that. Machado. Where does he go from here, Dragon? Machado, he's got to see how Sakina is controlling that left arm there. He's not able to swing the arm around, so he can't stand back up. Sakina's got such powerful paws. He's just holding on to the hands. Oh, Machado, he's not able to get back up. Good job by Machado to work his way back up to his feet. Now he's got the wizard, and he's able to get the underhook on the left side. Now he's got to try to pry Sakine up. Sakine's got the body lock, and he's been ragdolling Machado all night with that. This is the fifth of sixth of our prelim card inside the magnificent Ball of Asia Arena in Manila, the Philippines. It's one championship conquest of champions. Hope you're enjoying it, folks. Live on Facebook, live on Twitter. Also, make sure you download the One Super app. It's all fight. It's all live. It's all absolutely free. 25 seconds to go in this one. Good job. A fantastic round for Sakine Dragon. Good job for Machado to try to frame a ray to create a little bit of space, but Sakine is relentless inside that clinch. But no, oh, Machado's able to get away. He finally gets the giant off of him. This, 
This one's going to go a lot longer than many pundits thought. It's going to get out of the first round and go into the second. Well, what a round for Hideki Kisakina. Now, don't forget, under this global mixed martial arts rule set, we do score on an overall match, not round by round, as you saw in one Super Series. Look at this. Beautiful little setup there. He's reaching out, he's going through, but then he connected on a nice little left hand on the overhand. But then look at Sakine, able to get in, get the hands wrapped around Bebe's own and throws it. Beautiful outside trip there. Steps in across, puts Machado onto his back. Second round of three of this heavyweight stash between Alessandro Machado Back of Brazil and Hideki Sakine Back of Japan. Top. And they are still filing in. I'm telling you, Mitch, they are going to turn away thousands at the door tonight. This is the hottest ticket in town. The biggest one championship event. It's Conquest of Champions. Sakine is able to keep his distance with that rear leg push kick. Gets inside the pocket, starts letting the hands go a little bit. Big looping punches there from Sakine. And he's starting to gas the big fella, hands around the waist, but I'm not sure if Machado's striking can really capitalize on it. Shoots him for a single here, Sakine. Tries for a driving takedown to no avail on that occasion. Goes to a double leg now, does the big man. Looping right hook there from Sakine, and Shrek breaks off. Good job by Machado to avoid that bum rush of a takedown. Utilize the underhooks, pick Sakine up, and push him off. Machado just staying out of range of the hands of Sakine. Overhand right there. Is this when that lactic acid starts to build up and slow you down and get inside the muscles, make you make the arms heavy, the legs heavy? If it starts, if you do something you're unused, if you're not used to it, and striking, they pull for, oh, nice right hand there, landed by Machado. It's definitely gonna slow you down, but if this is what they're doing, if they're grappling, if they're clinching, oh, Machado, this is opening. Sakine on his back now, here comes the ground and pound from Machado. The full mount from the Brazilian, and Sakine with a whole world of bother now. Machado timing his shot, picking his opening. Sakine gives his back nowhere to go. This one promises fireworks. Could it produce the Go Daddy knockout of the night? Here we go. From Studio City in Macau, China. One Super Series match under kickboxing's global rule set. Look out for the spinning hook kicks of Alan Gulani. Look out for those Dutch style low kicks on Tarek Kabarik. Not clinching, okay? Go! You can see, Michael, he's doing exactly what you talked about. Galani's trying to create that space. Kababes is trying to close it and get nice and tight. What Galani's got to be careful of is not to drop his hands and leave them down around his waist because Kababes no. does have heavy artillery in the leather. Go. Let's see how quickly Galani can get used to the distance. Turning back into the liver of the Moroccan. Galani's trying to kick, but Kababes is trying to throw those hands. Galani gets underneath, Kababes throws a knee, completely legal, under the kickboxing rule set. Kababes comes forward again, Gut Muncher then went up to the jaw from Galani, throws the overhand right. Kababes trying to get in close to negate the spinning kicks of Galani. Look how low Galani's hands are. The big man's gonna keep the gloves up. Kababes throws an uppercut, and Galani drifts off. Goes counterclockwise, staying out of the right hand and right kick range of Kababe. Body shot from Galani. He's quick for a big man, is Alan Galani. That inside kick ducks under the left hook, clinches up. No clinching allowed in the kickboxing global rule set here at one Super Series. It's like he's dropping his head to possibly go in for a takedown, and that's where he's ended up in that clinch that the referee's warned about. How about that? The Andy Hook style X kick from Galani. 
Delaney does have a background in Kyokushin Karate. The axe kick is a trademark of the Kyokushin Karateka. The likes of Andy Hoog, Flaubay Feitoza, Francisco Filio, and we saw it there from Alan Galani. Mawashi Getty roundhouse kick off the lead leg from Galani. Good jab two from the Cameroonian. Got to get out of the corner. Here come the heavy hands from the Moroccan Kababes. Throws the knee. Kababes unloading. Doesn't want to let Galani out of the corner here. Galani jab two kangaroo down the centre corridor. Jab two again. Uppercut. Kababes with the knee. Galani's got to get out of the corner now. Kababes with the punches. It's all scoring stuff for Tarek Kababes. Kababes is throwing some serious heat right in the corner. He's, Galani's got to be careful when he's dropping his head, trying to create head movement. Kababes is throwing that knee right up the middle. Galani goes to the body. Kababes has had the high up put with the hand. He tags him again. We go to the tag. Give the winner of the round 10 points, the loser of the round 9 points. If you think Galani won it, you give him 10 points, you give Kababes 9. If you think it was vice versa, Kababes gets 10, Galani gets 9. And he's stacked with muscle, like you said, the seafood platter, Michael. The size of the chest there on Galani, it should have its own zip code. Here we go, second round of three. If there is a knockdown in the round, and the other opponent does not achieve a knockdown of his own, it'll be a 10-8 round. Kebab is coming forward strongly with her hands again. Let's see if Galani starts to wind with the spinning hook kicks. Maybe goes to the liver, maybe goes to the jaw. Accidental groin strike there on Galani. Kebabes comes forward, throws. Okay, it was an inside thigh kick designed to hit the inside right thigh of Galani. It missed the target and caught Galani square. We've yeah. seen him primarily in mixed martial arts events, and you can see that Kabanez yeah. is not scared to strike and stand with him. Most of these guys are timid to exchange like this with Galani, but Kabanez is not scared at all marching forward, throwing those heavy hands. Dutch style Moroccans, they are not scared of anyone. You were talking about a pedigree that includes the likes of Bada Hari. These guys come forward and they come forward hard and nasty as Tarek Kababes is doing again here. We recommence in the second round. Axe kick from Galani. Once again, channeling his inner Kyokushin, the martial art, the hardest form of karate that he began his career in. Trying to utilize that jab, create a little bit of space, but Kababes is trying to corner him. He's trying to cut the angles, so he's trapping Galani inside the corner, but Galani's moving around very well. This is a very large ring here at One Super Series, and both of these big men are traversing a lot of ground. How about that? The elasticized legs of Galani. Another attempt at axe hit. What you're trying to do with the axe is to bring the heel the hardest oh, bone in the body yeah. down on the collarbone no. or on the nose or on the forehead of your opponent. Galani's having a little more success as southpaw. He switched to a southpaw stance with his left hand back and he's utilizing that right jab more successfully. Kebabes who has had to travel the That's longer up. distance to get here all the You're way done. from the Netherlands to be here tonight. Galani, it was only a 45 or 50 minute ferry ride from Hong Kong. The referee has given Galani a warning for, to avoid the clinching. Go! It's a little bit of a spill over there from Galani's MMA career. But he his natural instinct in recent years has been to move in close and clinch up with opponents. Good outside leg here from Kababe. And Galani off the right for that powerful right hand. But I also think it's his head movement. You can see Galani circles out to the head. He moves his head out. And then at that point, uh, Kababes closes the distance and they end up in the, the clinch. But I don't think it's purposeful. I don't think he's trying to clinch. His hands are down. It's hard to clinch with your hands down. Kababes looks for that bolo punch. Goes for an outside leg kick. Trying to tenderize the legs of the big Cameroonian. Uppercut again went higher than the ceiling. Referee breaks them. It's just that head go. movement that he's that he's ending up entangled. Go, go. Galani on the back foot, throws another axe hit, needs to be on the front foot a little more go. here, does Galani. 
The Barbers, the outside leg kick, he has taken on and beaten some very good names, Tariq Barbers, over the years, including Roman Cricklier. Of course, Alan Galani in his kickboxing days went into battle against the likes of Bob Sapp, against Carter Williams, against Michael McDonald. And here he is, two rounds deep with one remaining. He's returned to kickboxing, and there is the Kyokushin axe kick from Alan Galani. It is spectacular, though ineffective so far. So let me explain. Ten point must system. I gave the first round 10 9 kebabes. I gave the second round 10 9 kebabes. My scorecard goes 20 18 kebabes, which means to even the score, Galani needs a 10 8 round, needs a knockdown round on Tarek Kebabes. Now, fans at home, Michael Chavello is not a judge. He's just pretending to be one on TV. <laughs> Outside leg kick from Galani. Good jab to overhand right there from the Cameroonian. Kebabes looks at the power in the right. High left roundhouse kick from Galani. Double forearm guard blocks the kick. Oh, counter from Kebabes. Galani drops the head. Kebabes doesn't clinch up. Referee Onari breaks them. I like those two question mark kicks he threw, and then he went to the body. Oh, no! Galani's wobbled. Galani momentarily turned his back. Referee, though, didn't see it as a chance to put a count on him. Kebabes comes forward. Here's the left hand from Kebabes. There's the uppercut. Goes to the body. Now toe-to-toe. -to -toe, they juke it out. Kebabes wins the battle. Backs him up with the right hand. Got to get out of the corner here. Galani takes a knee. He's lining up the right hand. There it is. And another uppercut. The chin through the top of the head. Galani may go down. Galani may go down. He's right for the picking. Galani on rubber legs. But he's still here. How is he still standing? The man from Hong Kong. How is he still on his feet? He just got hit with about 13 clean shots. And he's still throwing. Tremendous heart and intentional fortitude from Galani. Takes another big right hand. And down he goes. Now it's a count on Galani. Three knockdowns in one round. And the contest is over. That is knockdown number one in this round on Galani. And that is all. Because referee Onari says no more punishment. A fantastic victory for Tariq Kababes of Morocco. You've got more beef than a cattle ranch in the circle for this one. Inside the sold-out Mall of Asia Arena in Manila, the Philippines, has won a championship. Roots of Honor gets underway. Our third man in the circle, referee Elias Delapsis. Four-ounce gloves on these two behemoths. And the right hand early from Andre the Giant. He pulls the trigger early, goes for the jaw of silver. Right after the hand touch, he wasted no time rushing Braddock. Now we got to see Braddock understand what's going on. Now he's going to try to get nice and patient. Now he's going to start to counter punch. Watch the left hand. Watch the hook to overhand right. Bunia knows he can't allow Silva to establish his rhythm. He can't allow the big Brazilian to sit the metronome. Finds a give. Silva a taste of the right hand early with those four ounce gloves. Oh, by the Giants and overhand right. Silva knees on the inside. The Giant goes to the body. Barrels him against the fence. Ties up Silva and referee Delapsus breaks them. What a crackerjack start to this one. Munier has got to be careful. He's oh, he kind of he kind of opens up a little bit when he throws those punches. Braddock might be able to catch him coming in. High knee there from Anderson Silva. Munier's got to be careful not to drop the head. Already he's cut from the knee of Anderson Silva. Silva goes to the liver. Overhand right from Silva. Uppercut there from Munier. One look at Self-open coming in, missed the big shot. Silva does what he does, counter shot with that left hook. Overhand right there from Anderson Silva, uppercut from the Giants, Andre Munier. Two huge men in four-ounce gloves. It's the overhand right on the temple. It hits the button and turns the lights out on the Giants. Yeah, look, he was just leaving himself a little too open, overextended. He throws that big left hook, gets whiffed, and then just overhand right, touches him on the head, doing what he does best in that beautiful combination. It's all about that left hook, right overhand. And th there was the overhand. It was like a clubby blow. Didn't even catch him full. That's the power of Anderson Braddock Silva. Anderson 
Silva! Anderson Braddock Silva gives us one of the great knockouts in one Super Series yet. <laughs> Back. It's rare that you see two such huge men in an Asian mixed martial arts cage. Maya Ningram making her debut in and around the 1FC cage. Delighted to see her. This fight is brought to you by AdReach, meaningful advertising. And these punches should be extremely meaningful. First of all, though, a kick from Alan in the black trunks, Hassan in the pale blue. And if there is a violent takedown in this one, the whole stadium could rock. Oh, my word! A spinning kick! that knocked Hassan straight down, and in comes the referee. Hassan set up a couple of punches, and then Alain just grazed him right on the temple with that toe. Alain Nalani! Moments before a heavyweight title bout. You can cut the atmosphere here in Manila with a chainsaw. It is electric. Chevello, Mitch Chilson with you. That's Mauro Cirilli of Italy. Brandon Vera, defending champion of the Philippines. Vera at 113 kilos. Cirilli at 111 kilos. More beef than a cattle ranch in the cage at the moment. High kick early from Vera. There will be Vera's speed and precision against the raw power of the Italian hammer. And look out for the overhand right on Mauro Cirilli. Vera chops downstairs. Cirilli wants to bridge the gap, get on the inside, and go for the champion's jaw. Cirilli's trying to close that distance, having a hard time dealing with the range of Vera. But he's got to get on the inside. He can't stay at the end of these kicks. Vera has the height, he's got the reach, wants to keep the Italian at bay, switches to Southpaw here. Look out for the high kick off the left leg here from Vera. It's a lead hook, oh, swinging. Oh, he gets caught! That's good! Moving backwards, looking for the notch. Bingo, right on the button with that fade away left hook. Look at this, going back. Chin up to protect, right on the chin. Still. 